gone? Golden State Warriors' connection to Raptors' wing continues with latest trade idea. The Golden State Warriors are in the midst of a transition that began with the announcement of Bob Myers' retirement after 11 years as general manager. The franchise will now begin the search for a successor who could shake the core of a decades-long dynasty. The Warriors didn't have what it takes to advance past the Western Conference semifinals in 2023 and were eliminated in six games by the Los Angeles Lakers due to deficiencies in the roster. It remains to be seen how the new GM will make its mark on the franchise, but one thing is for sure, after a disappointing postseason, speculation will abound. The Toronto Raptors remain the most reasonable trade partner for the Golden State Warriors should the teams seek a deal this summer. Should the Warriors' new front office seek to restructure the roster, the Toronto Raptors are a likely candidate as they go through their own crucial offseason with the futures of key players in question. One of those players, OG Anunoby, has been mentioned repeatedly in trade talks. Golden State's interest in the 25-year-old forward is already known, as the franchise made a strong case for Anunoby at the trade deadline in February. Bleacher reports Greg Swartz has now proposed a deal in which every team in the league except the NBA Finals contenders Denver Nuggets and Miami Heat could send young guard Jordan Poole to Toronto as part of a deal for Anunoby. Here's the deal. Golden State lacked more versatility at the forward position during the 2022-23 season, in part because Otto Porter Jr. was traded to the Raptors in free agency. With Anunoby and veteran Thaddeus Young, they improved their forward depth in that deal. How much Anunoby can contribute to a true playoff rotation is still in question, but at least he'd give Golden State some much-needed depth in the regular season. Anunoby would join Andrew Wiggins and Draymond Green to form a lethal frontcourt combination, while Kevin Looney and Jonathan Kuminga would still be in the mix. The Warriors would lose their second and third point guards, so they'd have to look for either free agency or another trade in that area. The Raptors would have a lot of interest in Poole if Fred Van Vliet were to leave the Warriors in free agency. That would open up the opportunity for him to take over a starting role, which he has more than fulfilled in the past in Stephen Curry's absence. It's hard to imagine Toronto agreeing to such a deal without Kuminga, which was reportedly the sticking point at the deadline. But with only one guaranteed season left on Anunoby's contract, player option for 2024-25, the longer the Raptors wait, the less they'll get. Golden State Warriors players Stephen Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson need to cheer up the team. Now, can you imagine if Victor Wembanyama was traded to the Warriors? How crazy is that? If you're a die-hard Golden State Warriors fan like me, wait for... Hi, guys. People like this channel. Let's promote a bit more to the others.